Isaiah is one of the great prophets serving during the time of 740 to 680 BC. It's a time of great rebellion and disobedience in Israel. Listen to these verses. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, the Lord asks. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or lambs or goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring me no more futile sacrifices. Incense is abomination to me now. The new moons, the Sabbath, and the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure iniquity and sacred meetings. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. They come with all their religious acts and ceremonies and sacrifices, but it has no real meaning to them or heart connected to it. It would be like you and I coming to church, worshiping God and lifting our hands and you know, taking communion, praying, and then living a life that's totally disobedient a lifestyle that's filled with evil and actions that disregard God's love and instruction of his word. This is what's happening in Israel in the time of Isaiah. So God gives a remedy to them, and I believe to us in chapter one of Isaiah, verses 18 through 20. Listen to what he says. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And then he gives this warning. But if you refuse and if you rebel, you shall be devoured. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So the Lord gives a remedy for, for evil, for playing church, so to speak, or doing one thing and acting like another and on and on he goes trying to correct Israel and trying to correct you and I. And he says, this is what we can do. Even though your sins are red and the stain is great, I can make it white as snow. And of course, for us, it refers to the fact of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sin and all our sins can be washed away and we can be cleansed. But like Israel, you have to respond. You have to trust. You have to turn from those things that you know are evil. So here's Isaiah chapter one, addressing the people of Israel. There's a Southern Israel and Northern Israel. And Isaiah speaks to them and says, come now, not later. God says, come now. Now is the time of salvation. And so it's very emphatic. Come now and let us reason together. Maybe the Lord would speak that to you. Maybe he would speak it to me of things in our life that we know are not right. And the Lord always says, come now. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time. Don't wait. So like he says to Israel, he says to you and I, I have a remedy for your sins. Come now. And you can be, instead of stained, instead of scarlet, your sins can be washed away white as snow.